Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a post-processing PPE post-processing explain on how I achieve the results I achieve in skin retouching uh, with men with this particular setting right here. So what we're going to do right now is get right into the workflow. So what we're going to do is go right over here to the left into the spot heel tool and one thing I definitely want to recommend to you guys when retouching, you definitely want to zoom in and zoom out. So what we're going to start doing is going around and brushing with the spot heel tool on, uh, you know, places on the face that are very, you know, prevalent and things that can be removed like a little blemishes or, you know, stray hairs that we don't want in the particular area. And it's good to take your time, you know, zoom in, zoom out change your brush stroke size so that you know you're getting a different area of coverage and I stress to you guys to just go around the image and you know start from one point and start then go to the next I am a person that I like to start from the bottom and then go straight to the top and then I'll go down to the neck after that but what you want to do is just remove anything that you see that sticks out that you would like to diminish or remove. Even the closeness of the hair or if you know you see anything that's sticking out. And I shot this image with a Sony A7R Mark IV. It was my first shoot testing it out, so definitely stay tuned for different reviews that are coming with the Sony A7R IV. Um, you know, I just want to talk about it and teach you guys a little bit about it. It's definitely been, you know, and will be my workhorse. I was previously using a Nikon D. 800e and I decided to move over to mirrorless to you know just experience experiment with something a little bit different and you know I've been happy with the results so far so what we're going to do is move up a little bit closer and further up we're just going to start getting those things that are a little bit noticeable on this particular setting and level And like I said, you're, uh, you're not going to get everything. My whole thing when retouching is to diminish, especially when retouching men, but never fully remove, you know, just to diminish different areas and make it look, you know, usable and presentable. But you don't want to remove all the facial characteristics and, you know, texture from the actual image because you're working with the human. We're just going to clean up the brows a little bit. And if you're wondering about my mouse and brush stroke, I just easily change that with a right click and you can move it over or however you want. But I like getting it like this from a little angle especially when dealing with, you know, hair or so on and so forth. And you can always just remove it, maneuver that stroke as you're, you know, retouching as well. And please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Patreon for more retouching tutorials like this that are in-depth and me teaching you how, you know, achieve my workflow. And if you have any more questions about how I'm getting these results, definitely feel free to comment below. I'll definitely reply back. In some of these darker areas, we're going to attack those in dodge and burn. But what we want to do is remove some of these areas that, as you can see, were a little bit noticeable. 
so let's say before and after so far. We're just going to keep going and doing the same process. And if you hear me, you know, go a little bit quiet, don't worry, I'm still here. I said a lot of these areas that are with dark spots and pigmentation, we're just going to tackle those within Retouching Academy and a little bit of uh, presets I've already have installed to this. So I'm going to just zoom out and then go to before and a quick after. And now we're going to zoom right back in and move up a little bit. what we want to try to do is diminish and remove as much as we can before we actually take it into other frequency separation and Gaussian blurs and so on and so forth and different processes of it. The more you do and the more you eliminate and get a clean base to the image, the less you will have to do in the other portions of it as well. And like I said, sometimes it's a little bit difficult with men in photo shoots because there is no makeup and you know one thing I definitely suggest is brushing up on those retouching uh, those retouching you know tools and tricks so that if you're dealing in this process you'll still get an amazing result even without makeup or you know things to enhance the look of his skin and the person you're shooting so but luckily he has a really good base to the skin. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do once again is zoom out and go to a quick before. Let's move that back. And where we are so far. Okay, now analyzing the image, it's a few things that I want to take care of, like these little areas right here where the difference of skin and kind of the uh, under eye line lines are. So what I'm going to do is go into the clone stamp tool, move my opacity down, and then I'm going to go over to the modes, go to lighten, and lightly start sampling the textures of skin that is surrounding with a light brush stroke. This can be done this way, or it can also be done in micro dodge and burning as well. But I want to, like I said, eliminate as much as possible. Subtle changes. because I like to save at least a little bit of the base of the image because you never know what can happen. So as long as you got that base clean and I, I do that momentarily like throughout the process of retouching because sometimes when you come back in with 
Photoshop if something happens to the computer or if you have a you know electrical error or something like that Photoshop doesn't put you back on the process in the platform that you were at so just cover your tracks all right as you can see we still have that skin texture so just move around and start kind of repeating that process and just sampling around these areas and it may look and feel like it's not doing anything but a little goes a long way And you can always, as well, when you're retouching, change the opacity of the stroke. But a lot of this, like I said, is going to be done in the second portion of retouching. We're just going to build the brush stroke up. Probably going to take this to a little higher setting, maybe 17%. Just start brushing around certain areas, changing the stroke of the brush. Because the more I do here, the better the image looks. All right, so I'm going to back off a little bit and give you guys a quick before and after again of simple dodge and burn and also using the spot heal tool. All right, so what I am seeing now that I want to kind of get after is brightening this shirt up a little bit, bringing some of that detail back into there, as you can see. Brighten it, moving it up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is move to the next portion. So like I said, I'll always come back down to the neck. And make sure we just diminish a little bit of what's going on there. Back off. Okay, now what I see I want to kind of go to is a little bit of dodging on his beard. I want to bring it out a little bit. So I'm going to go down to a low opacity and just lightly start brushing in these areas to just bring a little bit of detail back into the image. And then also doing that at the bottom of his neck as well. In areas that I just want to see a little bit more detail in. Oh, 
Let's change our modes back to normal. Let's just fill in this little gap. Skip it for now. We'll skip it and come back to it. Alrighty. Actually, we'll just do a base right now, and then after that, we'll come right back to it. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into my Photoshop presets already and I am going to want to work on the actual skin texture of it. So I'm going to go into the frequency separation, look for advanced separation, click play, set my Gaussian blur, and then what I'm going to do is stroll over click and deselect. So I'm going to go over to my mix brush tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to start working on the actual skin texture. All right. So as I start moving I'm just going to start lightly brushing around and you will see the image start to kind of take another form getting the neck areas and places that you, you just want to take care of. All right, so, so far, here's a quick before and after one second. And that's just, you know, three steps of using the Spot Heal tool, using the Clone Stamp tool, and then also the Clone Stamp tool with a lighter custom, uh, you know, setting and then also using that frequency separation. Here I'll zoom out for you guys. But one thing when I retouch men, I always want to keep it polished, but at the same time, be able to still keep detail within the skin so that, you know, it looks like a man. A man has, you know, different textures of skin and I think that's, you know, absolutely beautiful about our skin tone and textures. So I like to, you know, just keep that realistic feel to it. So what I'm going to do is deselect this again and go right back into kind of cleaning up the nose area a little bit, diminishing, get under the eye, even going down to the lips. And especially working with men with, uh, you know, shaved heads, it's a whole nother, like, different texture of canvas. So you definitely want to, you know, make sure 
that looks you know very nice as well and it's blended so now what I'm going to do is back off of the image I'm going to flatten this and then I'm going to go into the browse and start lightly cleaning up just little straight hairs that I see that are noticeable so far and just shake them up a little bit we can go to the other ones over here and just do the same exact thing and I also will be leaving a link in the bottom of this video and on the Patreon page of where I got this particular retouching. I use Retouching Academy a lot, but I also use the uh, Retouching Essentials package as well. It's definitely been a part of my workflow as, as of recent. So what we're going to do is just go back out, click before and after, and then what I want to do is remove this wall, like these little concrete indentions. So I'm just going to simply go into it with the spot heel tool, and then I will start playing around to go ahead and remove that so we just get a nice clean base of a canvas so I'm literally just going to drag this all the way down Like I said, my ways <laughs> may not be the most traditional, but it works for me. And I like to just break retouching down into, you know, just simple steps. My main three things I use are the spot heel tool, dodge and burn, and also clone stamp tool. And then with these essential packets right here. So now what I'm going to do is go into the black and whites. So I want to bring my tones down and I want to see where I can perfect this image brings a little bit more dimension into it. So what I'm going to do is go in with my dodge tool and I am going to start sonifying these areas onto Kelvin that I want to bring out a little more. Do it very lightly but you know to the point it's noticeable. See, just light little subtle changes. And then also while I'm going at it, if I see anywhere that I would like to kind of brighten up a little bit in Dodge and Burn, I can do that as well. And then sometimes I like to get in and micro Dodge and Burn 
by really getting into the skin and using the tool like this like so you know you can always change the opacity and so on and so forth with it and it gives it a whole different look and feel subtle changes make a grave difference even in little situations like this zoom out and what I'm going to do is go back in and start working on those areas that are already having a little bit of bounce light from the actual light a little bit, the ears, All right. and then what I'm going to do is go into the lips and do subtle changes where it's already So now I feel like I love how this particular image looks. So my next step of going in, I want to actually sharpen this a little bit. So I'm going to go back into the essentials pack. Actually here, what I want to do as well is add a little bit of smoothing on it. especially in the forehead area where we tend to have a little bit more texture. And as you can see, we just softened the skin a little bit more. One second. So now we're going to zoom right back out. And we're going to sharpen this a little bit more. Smart sharpen. And then what I want to do, because sometimes it will over sharpen the image, is go straight over here into this particular setting and just move down the opacity to about 13%. So as you can see,
just a little bit more sharpness into the image. All right, so now what we're going to do is my favorite portion, and that is uh, using my Photoshop Pro Level Pack actions that are available on my website, chrisphotostudios.com. That will as well be into the actual bio of this. So I'm going to use Luxury Sand, and I'm going to click this action and let it apply to the image. Now what I'm going to do as well is adjust this a little bit. And I want to brighten it a little more. And then I also would like to take some of that orange out. So I will then move over into the cyan's and then add a little bit of blue in it as well. Not too much, but just enough. And look at that. See that whole different look and full feel from dodging and burning. And it actually brought the image out a little bit more. I'll give you guys a quick before and a after. You'll also zoom in and give a quick before and after. And I feel this image is where I really like it. So our last thing of, of what we're going to do is go into the liquify tool because to me the neck looks a little bit too straight. So I just want to go in to the liquify tool and then just move the neck in just a little bit to create a little bit of line. See how that looks way better. This is a beautiful image. Sharpen that jawline a little bit more. Not too much subtle changes. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop retouching tutorial. Uh, you know, on how to actually go in and retouch the skin of men to make it look, you know, still masculine, still have texture, still have it's, you know, um, it's textures and, you know, characteristics within it, but just diminishing, you know, the things that we would like to here. I'll do this as well so that it still, it, it still looks like a realistic image, but it's not overdone to the point it looks too fake. So we'll just pull this over. All right, and there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop retouching tutorial of how to retouch the skin of a man. And there we have it. So definitely be back for the next video. And I thank you for watching. Goodbye.